morning everybody. Coming at you live from sunny southern Florida here with the girls. Um, I wanted to go ahead and show y'all some of the ideas that I've been having going on in my mind for Valentine's Day that's coming up in just a few days. Um, so I guess fortunately and weirdly I actually still have some of my flowers that I planted up from last October that are that were pink just for breast cancer awareness and everything um, and it was just filling in so nicely and I was curious to see how some of those annuals would grow um, over the winter in my area since it's my first winter here in South Florida and they were just doing so nicely that I never changed them um, and I just kind of fill them, let them fill in naturally I didn't really deadhead or trim or anything um, which I normally would have um, but I was encouraged not to just to and just kind of, I don't know, some of the people passing by just kind of liked the more natural look of it all. Um, but anyways, I wanted to go ahead and show you all some ideas of like pink and red flowers that can go really well for Valentine's Day. Kind of starting off with this little in-ground um, planting area that I have that's between my driveway and my walkway up to my doorway. Um, so this has actually been full of color all winter, which is so cool. Um, I, I don't know, it's just been so nice to walk out of the house and have some color um, it's not like Florida has harsh winters or anything and it's not like we really lack color anywhere um, but it's just nice to have it so close to home and um, so I have here some super tunias um, the uh, Vista bubblegum and so it's been doing really nicely it filled in really nicely this actually only gets some morning this area really only gets morning Sun as I was saying so um, I'm kind of amazed at how well these kind of more full Sun plants have been doing um, so I have the bubblegum supertunia. I also have a, um, a superbina that's pretty much almost the exact same shade um, that was actually given to me um, from a friend who had me in their thoughts, which was really nice. Um, they had some that like weren't looking too great and just went ahead and figured they figured that I could recuperate them and they've been doing really well. Um, it's kind of hard to show you and I actually don't even see any flowering. But I have another Superbina too that has um, a slightly darker pink um, with a little bit of white in the middle, um, which there's barely a, a bud right behind me, but that's not the most fortuitous place to kind of show y'all. Um, lastly, we have a geranium that I tucked in in the corner that's pretty much the exact same shade, but unfortunately the foliage is a slightly different green, which would have been nice if they had like blended in a little bit more seamlessly, but that's fine. So this is the container I've been wanting to show you guys and you can kind of see some of the plants that I'll be replacing with it, it with um, right behind it in the background. But you can kind of see the star of the show here on the right is the Sun Patient. It's called the Compact Blush and I just really like it. Um, I would have trimmed it up a little bit more throughout the season but that's one of the plants that people were kind of commenting that they like the more natural look of it. Um, in the center you can kind of barely see it but you can kind of see like these little spires of uh, pink little flowers that are actually a salvia skyscraper pink and then kind of here in the middle right here um, and it's on the other side as well it's kind of mirrored is a uh, baby wing begonia which has been doing just super nicely I think it's adorable um, it's one of my favorite plantings in here um, and then I, towards the end, once it started getting a little bit cool, I actually tucked in this geranium that we have here on the side. Um, I think it's a pink sizzle variety, but I'm not quite sure which. Um, so yeah, it's really only the centerpiece of that salvia, the one sun patients, two begonias, and then two geraniums. So if I was to try to do somewhat of a 360 view-ish kind of how it ends up looking so here you can see I have the raw materials for the plants that I plan on replacing in with the container so I think I'm gonna go ahead and maybe use some patients as kind of a centerpiece um, this matches really well with what was the inspiration for the entire arrangement this little rosy red Begonia Riger, Riger, I'm not exactly sure how to uh, pronounce that. Um, really, I had seen that some of the new begonias that were coming out here um, were proven winners, and I went ahead and went to my local nursery to see if maybe um, I was going to ask if they were going to kind of carry um, those begonias. 
but I went ahead and found this anyway, so you can see this is the tag, actually. Um, you know, begonias are part sun to shade, but of course in Florida we can kind of get away with it um, because of the humidity a little bit. And then moving on, I have a nice red trailing geranium that's right here uh, in the center of the shot. So um, I thought that red also went very nicely with uh, the other two plants. And then something that's gonna kinda probably help fill up and I'll probably cut it pretty shortly after I um, get it situated in, that way it can flush back a little bit and be a little bit more compact, is this red verbena. Here are all my beloved plants individually. We have the sun patients, the geranium, the begonias are doing real nice. And we have the salvia nut. So I will be uh, planting these. I'm not going to be throwing any of these away. So that's why I was kind of delicately removing them. They'll be going along the side of my house. So here is the repurposed compact blush Sun Patience. And then here are the rest of the plants featuring some canna lilies that are growing to the right of it. Um, you'll see the salvia again in the center, and then I put the two begonias in front and tucked away the geraniums behind, so I think it looks nice. Alright y'all, I know it's a little overexposed with the sun and everything, but this is the finished product. I went ahead and planted the two begonia regers um, on the opposite corners. And then on the other corners, I put the uh, red verbena and the verbena, uh, what is it, the geranium. And uh, of course, I put the sun patients in the center. Wanted to make a note that the uh, geranium is the Caliente, uh, Caliente deep red variety. And then the uh, verbena is the early dark red. So I think it looks really nice. Um, it kind of, as you walk up, kind of makes this little rose just available to be seen on pretty much, you know, every side. Of course, I just uh, watered it in, expecting a pretty nice sunny day here. And then, um, you know, the other two plants that are being on the geranium are just, you know, added interest. Um, so. And that's really just about it. I've got some catching up with my girls to do, as you can see. Um, I just kind of wanted to show you some of the nice red and pink flowers that you can kind of choose from to go ahead and get you started for Valentine's Day. Either make you a nice little container or even put them in the ground, kind of like I did, um, and just make a little seasonal planting out of them. Um, you know, Valentine's Day doesn't have to be just one day of the year. You can always love yourself and others um, whenever you want, so feel free to throw in some kind of reminder for that wherever you see fit. But all right, guys, thanks for, and gals, and everyone in between. Thank you for tuning into this video, and hopefully I'll see you in the next one. Bye from my Valentine's to yours. Have a good one.